What's up everyone, it's Charles here with Rocket Punch Army to do a review of the Transformers Age of Extinction Deluxe Class Lockdown. So here we got the figure with his weapon, we're going to set that aside just a moment right here in the corner. And check out the uh, box because uh, some of you may want to see what it looks like. But this is the box here, very plain, um, it's got nice artwork of Lockdown there, it's got the little clear Transformer sticker here on the blister pack. You get a little picture of the prototype of Lockdown there with his name. If we turn it around back, you also see the same prototype there uh, with uh, Lockdown there and his weapon. And then you also get a glimpse here of what uh, else is available, both of which I did a review on, Strafe and Autobot Drift. So moving on along to the actual figure, which is why everyone's here. Here he is, guys, a beautiful Lamborghini. A Lamborghini Aventador, to be exact. Uh, the first thing that strikes me is the color. I do love the color. It's not actual paint. It's just uh, that metallic looking plastic which is why it looks a little bit swirly in some parts. Uh, and he doesn't come in vehicle mode in the package which is good because the vehicle mode is actually really teeny and it almost gets mistaken for a, a smaller toy. And, and you'll see it. It really is small. I mean look at my hand. It's, it's a tiny little thing. But overall it looks really good and the reason it looks really good is because, because it's actually a licensed Lamborghini. Uh, figure here so you don't actually get the uh, you get the shield the Lamborghini shield there's no detail on it which is understandable for something of this price point and as you saw in the beginning of the video uh, I did attach the weapon over here just goes right on the back I'm not big into the whole weapon thing on top of the vehicle but it doesn't actually look too bad uh, for this one uh, I do like the fact that the windows are translucent they're translucent blue which doesn't look so bad actually but you'll notice the side windows are non-existent so it looks like the windows are rolled down, but I don't think it has anything to do with making it look like it rolled down. I just think it's a design flaw, really. Um, we look on the bottom here, you'll see most of his uh, bits here. The one funny thing I saw is that his head is sniffing right on his crutch, it's like... <laughs> now, I was talking about the size just a second ago. I, I think it has to do with just cost and everything. But what they're also doing is getting rid of pinned wheels. You'll see the wheels here are not pinned. They're actually like, uh, it's got little two prongs that grasp onto the wheel once, once they snap it on. Which I guess is cool if you want to paint the wheel, you can actually pop it off so you don't mess up anything else. But uh, yeah, it, it just goes to show they're really dumbing down uh, the figures for cost. Now lately Hasbro in their instructions have only been showing you how to transform it from one mode to the other. And it's usually not the mode that it comes in. Um, fortunately in this set it does show you how to transform them both ways. So we're going to go ahead and transform him, all right? Uh, if you haven't done so already, obviously take the weapon off. Then you want to grab the rear panels here, pop them out and over the side. Then grab the sides here, untab them from this peg here and out that way. Then this whole section is just going to flop over this way. Then just pop out this section here like that. Grab this section, spin it around, then fold this section up to form uh, the top half of the robot. And you pretty much form the whole lower half. All you have to do is fold this section up this way. Then these pieces here, the chest pieces, fold up into the back right there. And right back here you'll see a peg with a hole. You want to get that snapped in there. And also on the back right here, that's going to go right to the back, snap that in. And then just fix the legs. Get them to where they're supposed to be, fold the feet out. And then to get an elbow on it, you're going to separate this piece, turn this. That way you have the elbow. And that's pretty much the weakest part of the robot. I mean, look at the hands. They're stuck to the panels. I really don't like that. I actually think it looks pretty stupid. But uh, overall, the figure does look rather nice. I, I do like the coloring on it. I love the fact that you can see the suspension here in gold paint and in little, little headlights. And this is actually a real uh, chest using the, uh, the hood of the car, which a lot of robots don't do that. The hood flips in the back and then they got a, a fake chest. This one actually is using that part of the Lamborghini there. And we can go ahead and attach the weapon here. And mine will not hold it up. The, the figure's arm is loose. Let's try uh, this side here. And that's really unacceptable for a brand new figure. But it does say on the back that it may require additional support. Where does it say that? I'm sure it says that. Yeah, right there. Some poses may require additional support. Uh, so that's their way of getting around having uh, you know, bad joints. But this one does hold it up. But it's his left hand. I would prefer it in his right for whatever reason. And one cool thing that they don't even show you in the um, instruction booklet is the fact that you can recreate that scene in the movie where his head just turns into a big gun. 
Um, it's a shame they don't show it in the instructions, but I guess they're leaving it up to the fans to figure it out. So you'll see this little first tab here. It's going to go right on his head. The second thing goes right behind the head, like so. So you make sure you guys can see that. And there's lockdown with the weapon head. And you'll see it's already got a missile right in there. And it's one of those cheap, stupid missiles, the friction ones. We're supposed to, I guess, hold it back here. It barely shoots out. So we'll hold there. And that's it. And that's the effect Hasbro's going for, I guess. Just cheapness instead of uh, spring-loaded weapons. And you can actually sort of attach the weapon on the back. And they say sort of because it, you can't like this. Uh, it just won't reach. But if you fold this piece down, which is just going to cause more stuff to be happening back here, you could actually attach it back there, just like that. And that's the Lux Lockdown, guys. Uh, it would be nice to see a more detailed version of this. Uh, as it is, it's okay, it looks alright, but, you know, it's, it's a little bit dumbed down. If you have any questions or comments, guys, please leave them below. Until next time, guys, bye-bye.